the current state of the school lane and airport road T-junction in Livingston. Joining the main road at this junction calls for extra care because of the obstruction caused by this tall grass. The picture is similar on a number of roads, including the Batoka roundabout, where vehicles temporarily disappear only to reappear as they exit the roundabout. Motorists are worried. As I was coming from that side, I was not able to see to that side to say that there is a vehicle coming or not. So it is easier for me to cause an accident because of this glass. It's very difficult, more especially in small vehicles like Matexis. I mean, I could have figured out that someone was very cool. There's that obstruction. So you really have to move very slowly, just like you saw it was coming. You, you, you find that part of, your, part of the car is already, is already in, the, in the road. And so you have to come very slow so that you are not you know, involved in any road accident. Pedestrians are also affected by the overgrown grass. Livingston City Council Public Relations Manager Melvin Mkela says the local authority is aware of the challenge. Of course, after seeing that uh, the officers are overwhelmed, we are engaging casuals that will assist uh, in uh, 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 slashing uh, this grass. Besides the overgrown grass, motorists are also being obstructed by poorly erected billboards and the council is talking tough. All the posters, all the billboards that have been mounted at Livingston without the authority of the local authority will be put down so that we don't have these problems where motorists are obstructed, especially when they want to join the main road. Justin Akakulubelwa, ZNBC News, Livingston.